Welcome back to Bushcraft Evolution. As you can see, I'm tent camping with my dad, and my dad is going to show some gooey blocks. So, if you didn't hear what she said, um, we're tent camping, and she told you that I'm going to be showing you basically what gear we brought. So, um, without further ado, we're just going to jump right into it. We're not going to cut away. It's all right here available. So, um, first off, thermocell. It's buggy out and we don't want to get all bit up there's been some west nile cases in our area so fingers crossed we don't get it so first thing i want to show is the uh, kit that i already showed you guys before the only difference is um, this time i have the first aid kit that was not in here before i got some comments on that um it is here we do have it so if we get boo-boos or whatever, that's in here. And the only other difference is the canteen is uh, full of water. So we got about 40 ounces of water in this. And then in the car, we have like four more 16 ounce bottles. So we're good with water. So we're not gonna go over the contents of this because you've already seen it. And if you haven't seen it, go back and check that video out. Um, canteen kit review might be the name of that, I believe. Anyhow. We're just going to keep going. Um, you've seen this in a video, but you have not seen it loaded out. This is a military butt pack. And um, as Madison referred to earlier, a buck pack. It is a not a buck pack. It is a butt pack. Reason being because it rides on your waist and bounces off your butt. So we've got it packed down with uh, food, drinks, and couple of snacks so we'll just do a quick little run through of what uh, we have in here um, as you can see that thing is loaded loaded down we have uh, a mug here for Madison to drink out of we have a couple of snack bars and some flavor packets to drink I have a uh, tinder tin I, uh, we uh, actually previewed this in um, our Townsend's road trip video, so if you want to go back and check that video out, that'd be awesome. Um, so this just has, I think, birch bark and some uh, um, fatwood, maybe? Excuse the dog, we're at a small little campground, there's people all around us. Um, we have a made-up ridge line, it's that uh, Night Eyes brand. And this is uh, reflective so that, you know, we don't clothesline ourselves in the middle of the night. Um, we have a uh, knife, fork, spoon combo. It looks like a knife when it's folded out. We can probably show that later. Um, more drinks for the little one here. Creamer for dad. Coffee to go with that creamer. And raw sugar. I don't use um, typical sugar. I like to use uh, raw sugar. So that's what's in this little container. Have my little write in the woods journal, as I call it. And a pencil that I believe I showed before. This is actually made of an actual stick with lead in it. So get any video ideas or whatever, or if there's something I want to add into the edit section or whatever. Or description section below um, I'll put those notes in here um, multi-tool we're in a tent and I don't have any use for this but you should always have some sort of a multi-tool with you and Madison what's this Ramen. her dinner just in case she doesn't like the ready wise pasta alfredo which is our intended meal tonight, but if she doesn't like that, we have a backup plan. And then for breakfast, we have another Ready Wise. This is called uh, Coconut Blueberry Multigrain. So that really does sound delicious. And can't wait to enjoy that and let you guys know what we think in the morning. So let me uh, get this packed back up and then We'll come back and go into the Nighthawk, or Blackbird Nighthawk 
um, knapsack that I haven't used quite a while. We've done one or two reviews on it. We've packed it out once or twice. And I have another loadout that I want to show you that we brought for this particular trip, being that we're tent camping. So hang on just a few minutes and we'll be right back with you. I hope that wasn't too long for you, like probably half a second, millisecond. Anyway, we have the uh, Blackbird Nighthawk knapsack here. Um, we've done, like I said, reviews on this and Blackie Thomas also, obviously, who designed the bag, has his own reviews on this. And um, we showed you before that we ended up getting some Alice pack straps for it so we can carry it around now. Um, the only modification that I've made is that one of the bottom straps here slips out. It just slips out all the time, no matter how I carry it. So I stitched it. I got it to the size that fits me, and I stitched it so it no longer moves. So we're just going to dive right into it. And Blackie gave me the idea of putting a carabiner on here. If you watch his videos, you'll see that he did the same thing. And it just folds down, and you carabiner it closed that's what holds it kind of like a dry bag if you've ever used a dry bag so emptying the contents here we have our fuel canister here this is uh for cooking for any of our water boiling purposes tonight which is going to be dinner breakfast in the morning coffee for me hot cocoa for madison here um so we have that along with the Stanley, very famous Stanley cooker. Um, that's where my stove is that goes on top of that. Plus I got the cups that come with this are still in there. We also have a um, Tokes 750 milliliter titanium cooker here. So I might break this out and break that out if I'm doing two different types of things tonight. So. We'll see. Only time will tell. We have another product by Night Eyes is this canteen, which has, it's got the cover on it right now. This is basically a screen to dim your light, even though it does have settings on it for bright, medium, low, however you want to say it. Um, and it also comes with this carabiner on top for inside our tent right about here someplace on the inside there's actually a hook where you can hook this thing in there hook this in there so we have light um we have my mug which um i carry the filter and stuff inside there for ground coffee but i'm not doing ground coffee tonight i'm gonna be doing instant so just a lot faster and easier to do on a quick little one-nighter camping trip that we're on um, so that already is just on the top I'm not even halfway through this bag um, we have another kettle that I have in here this is the um, Uberlin uh, stainless steel has the handle inside here that just attach it to the outside this way or this way um, I guess it's your preference on what works for you um, might give it its maiden voyage tonight for some boiling water so we don't have to use so many cookers and just have water ready um, I have gloves for handling anything hot safety first In the back, and the little sleeve that Blackie talked about that's in the back of this, he puts in um, foam pads. I have a gardening knee pad that I stuck in the back, and that has my shemog wrapped around it. It's not sweaty or hot today because we're in the 70s, finally got rid of that 90 degree weather. So I won't be needing this for sweat or anything, but this just always goes with me as another alternative to grabbing things hot or filtering anything if need be, or tourniquet whatever we might need it for and the last few items are my kit that I've not yet featured I don't believe we might do a, another review on this later this is a survivor 
is the brand. It's a pouch that I ordered off of Amazon. It has uh, different types of straps and webbing and stuff on the back and Velcro on the front, more webbing, and it opens up. This is actually, uh, you can hang it on your chest and use it for map reading and stuff, but we have like a chunk of fat wood in here. I have cordage over here. I've got um, a knife here, fire striker or flint and steel, um, a lighter. We have compass, a knot tying guide, in case my brain doesn't work and I forget to tie a knot. Survival blanket. I have one in here and one in the kit that you guys have seen before. And so, we have a lot of redundant items. You just uh, never know what could happen. So we have enough to cover us both and probably half of the campsite we're in. Um, last two things, I think. Might be two things. I have a uh, sleeping bag for myself here. This one, I believe, is 40, yeah, 40 degrees. It just packs down super, super small. I love it. This would be the first time I've used it, so I can give an honest review on this maybe in the morning. Um, Madison gets my field and stream that I featured before in a stealth camping video. If you haven't watched that, it's like a hour long video but it's really fun i enjoy doing it and uh this is the sleeping bag i used in there this one's rated for 50 degrees we're going to be above that tonight but we both are going to be sleeping on cots inside the tent because this is a big tent we wanted space we wanted a room and so she'll have this one i'll have mine and that's it that's it so you see everything that we brought camping. We probably did a little bit of overkill. And we're only 20 miles from home. And there's a hospital nearby. But we just want to show you what we brought. And of course the camp chair. My camp chair is over there off camera a little bit. You might see the corner of it. We have our big Coleman six person family tent here. And we've already got our cot set up inside. I might uh, bring you in in a little while to... Show you what's what once we get everything set up in there we get the light hung up and just have everything situated and we're officially camping we're still setting up a little bit um the place we're actually at is in delphi indiana and uh there's what they call canal days and they have a bunch of uh pioneer types of things going on around here so we uh took part in that when we got here because we didn't even know that was going on so lucky us we came here on the right time and uh we just enjoyed some of that for a while enjoyed some daddy daughter time and now we're back to camping and we'll just uh bring you along the way when we uh get everything else set up and show you how everything is and then we'll maybe walk around the campground we're not sure yet uh, we might just relax here and just spend time together so we just wanted to bring you along with us on this trip because it's our first time ever camping just us and we just want to bring you along so we hope you enjoy and if you've made it this far so far go ahead and like share and subscribe and give us any comments um, what you like what you don't like um, we know there's algorithms to YouTube. We know that uh, this probably won't get seen by many people. We also know that uh, there's other YouTubers who tell you what they did to make their channel successful. We're just simple, doing this for fun. We enjoy doing it. We enjoy real. We're not commercialized. We're not, uh, you know, we don't have all these big names hunting us down, wanting us to review gear, things like that for them. We've reached out to a couple people who have gladly accepted our invitation to partner up with us. That's to come. Um, but we're just humble. Father, daughters, um, Haley's with mom and the baby, so we'll do a camping trip before too long. Um, anyway, if you like 
just a father and daughters doing things together. We really do hope that you will consider liking, sharing, subscribing, like I said, leave us some comments. Um, CJ, I know you're watching this. I know you'll comment. Thank you. Um, CJ was also the winner of our very first ever giveaway, and it was of a Firefast fire starter. Um, anyway, that's it for now. Um, we're just going to do things around here and enjoy some fun, enjoy some time together. Um, she brought, what did you bring with you to do while we were here? Oh, I brought a coloring book and one Barbie and two books. So it sounds like we're playing Barbies, having a coloring party later, and what, what else? Books to read? Two. And two books to read. So I just hope she didn't bring um, scary stories because I don't have anybody to cry to. So anyway, we're going to enjoy some time together, and uh, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in a few. Remember, so doing his job. Mm -hmm. He's just circling in here, mm -hmm. and the wind is coming at us a little bit, so it's making this circle around in here. So mm -hmm. we're good. Well. We're back. We did some uh, wandering around and checked out the Pioneer Village again. Um, they closed around four, so we just wanted to go and check it out when they closed. And we walked along the canal here and just did some more sightseeing around. We didn't take you along with us for that because it's just time for us to spend together. And she's back behind me here in her chair just resting. And I'm about to get dinner going. Um, we're gonna try this. Pasta Alfredo, it's probably super bright. I'm gonna turn it to the side. Pasta Alfredo, and you got the camera right there. You can see it's shadow. Um, anyway, we're gonna get some waters mixed up with our seasoning package. She's gonna have strawberry lemonade, and I'm gonna have Arizona lemon tea. So we're gonna get this started. We're gonna get this going, and um, we'll bring it back when uh, the water starts boiling. and We'll see you then. Well, I believe, yes, we are officially boiling, so Let's get that turned off. And we're gonna open up the bag here of our pasta alfredo. I already ripped the top off just so that we were ready to go. It calls for two cups of boiling water. And we're gonna take out the package that they stick in it that you don't want to eat. It keeps it dehydrated, keeps moisture out. We want moisture. So what you do with this, it says on the back, add your two cups of boiling water, which we have right here, and then stir well, close the zipper, let stand 12 to 15 minutes, then enjoy. So we're gonna do that right now. And Get that stirred up here. Smells really good. Got the long titanium spoon here so we can reach to the bottom. Get that stirred up real good. That smells good. It does smell amazing. Mm. We've watched a lot of camping videos and bushcraft videos and never heard of 
the ready wise meals before we actually found these at a rural king i don't know if you have a rural king in your area but that's where i found it in my area so we're going to give this a quick stir here and then zip her up and give it the 12 or 15 minutes that's asking for so Ooh, hot. What Zip. Now we wait. So we'll see you back here in 12 to 15 minutes, as it says. So here we go. Well, we waited, um, let's see, 15, we waited about 25 minutes, 20, 22 to 25 minutes because Anytime you've watched anybody do one of these camp meals, they always say that let it go a little bit longer. So we haven't even tried it other than after stirring it and tasting the sauce. But uh, I'm not going to be sure how much you'll be able to see in this bag, but it's really thick, steamy. It has uh, noodles, chicken, vegetables. Um, I don't know how much the camera could pick that up, but it's got really thick consistency to it. So it's going to be more of a, not quite a soup, but more of like a stew, I guess. It's uh, the pasta alfredo, like I said, it's got chicken and a rich Parmesan cheese sauce, which just sounds delightful. She's tasted it and I've tasted it. So we're not going to have a backup plan by um, cooking the ramen because she actually is going to enjoy it. And then Bonehead Me forgot to bring bowls, plates. The only thing that we did bring was my spoon and she's got this fancy dancy fold out spoon fork combination. Um, she's going to use the fork side of course, but I didn't bring out bowls or plates. So luckily the Stanley comes with two of these. So these are going to be our bowls tonight. And this uh, meal says that it's two and a half servings, so we're going to just divide it and bring you in for a taste test. So let me divide it up and we'll uh, go from there. Okay, as you can see, we heaped our cups pretty full. So this would be the two servings, I believe. And there's still a little bit left in here, so that'll be that half a serving. If either of us are still hungry after eating this, so bottoms up. Grab your fork, blow on it. It's gonna be super, super hot. There, lots of steam. Yeah, not super hot, but I have to say, mm, that's good. You would not know this came out of a bag if. They serve this in a restaurant to you. This is actually really, really good. We haven't even added seasoning to it. It just tastes that good. And the noodles are little spiral noodles. The chicken is very, very good. Um, what do you think? It's good. You heard it. She said it's good, so it must be good. So we're gonna finish this, finish our mixed up drinks, and then, uh, watch the sunset in front of us as you can see blinding me a little bit and listen to some dogs barking so we'll see you back here in a little while well guys I finished mine she's nearly finished with her so she really really enjoyed it um, we're uh, probably not going to film much more tonight um, we might get ourselves relaxing in the chairs a bit watching the sunset behind us well in front of us but behind you um but if we don't get to that we'll uh i'm done we'll show you oh you heard her she's done um we'll show you the inside once uh it's time for bed and we'll bring in with us to say good night and we'll just uh enjoy our time together and we'll see you in just a little while um maybe once the sun goes down and it's dark out we'll uh We'll play by ear, so we'll see you in a little bit. 
Okay, guys, um, it's uh, like 9 o'clock um, in the evening, and we're just going to probably call tonight, and um, I think we're going to just watch some YouTube videos, maybe watch some YouTube Kids, or maybe catch a movie or something like that, and we're already in our night clothes, and we're ready to hit the sack, and it's about to be uh, lights out, basically, as they would say, for a campground, so we can't be too loud um if anything happens overnight we'll turn the camera back on and we'll try to uh capture it whatever it may be we did see a, a doe earlier in a field behind us so that was pretty cool um one of our neighbors here came over and told us that this deer comes out every night so that was pretty cool to see um we're gonna drink our hot chocolate and our coffee that's sitting over there cooling down just a little bit um catch a movie, watch some YouTube, something, and uh, get some sleep. And then, unless anything happens um, overnight, um, we'll see in about one second. So, good night, guys. Good morning, guys. As you can see, one second later, um, nothing happened overnight, and you're seeing us in the morning. So, um, we're just going to get breakfast going, and then packed up, and get ourselves out of here um, there's really not much else going on this morning that we're going to film so we just wanted to just drop in and ask you guys to like subscribe and share if you've made it this far you might as well subscribe and continue watching what we do um, camping isn't really something that we thought we were going to be filming but we decided we wanted to start incorporating that because we do like to camp so I guess uh, until the next time we see you Get out there. Get out there.